Hello everyone, welcome to Real Advice. Today, we're reviewing the Netflix Thai horror slasher film, The Maid. In the film, a young woman named Joy decides to work as a maid to a wealthy and prominent family, even though the household has had a very high turnover rate of maids. But it doesn't take long for Joy to discover why, as she is haunted by a spirit who is dressed up as a maid. Who is this entity, and why is she haunting Joy nonstop? Now, before we start, we would really appreciate it if you like, share, comment, or subscribe to our channel if you like or even dislike this review. The Maid was one heck of an experience. Not a perfect one, mind you, but a very fun one at that. One thing was its surprise turn into a very different kind of movie. The first half, composed of its first two chapters, was a straight-to-the-point horror film, while the second half turned into a gory and satisfying slasher. While there were setbacks that had us wanting more, there's no denying that even with its problems, The Maid will be one film that will leave its viewers at least satisfied. As we mentioned earlier, The Maid isn't perfect. In fact, it had a lot of issues as a film. One major problem it had was its lackluster writing. The maid had a tendency to under-explain its story and the characters around it. The first five minutes introduces a toy monkey, for example, which comes alive to haunt the people around it. After that brief intro, the monkey plot just disappeared never to return again. Some people could deduce it's actually the same entity that haunts our lead joy, but the film was never clear on that one. The same thing happens to key characters. Like, we really wanted to understand what the personal problems of the family joy was working for, and the reasons why they did what they did. But again, we really did not get any details on those. We just assume that they did bad things themselves and deserve their upcoming fate. Besides the writing, the film was quite enjoyable as a horror and slasher film. During its horror portion, the director was able to amp up the atmosphere and terror even without the use of jump scares. The slasher portion was the highlight for us, which was all out and no holds barred, gory fun, much like a Kill Bill experience. Overall, The Maid had a lot of head scratchers in its narrative, but made up for it with its highly entertaining last half hour. Our rating for The Maid is 3.5 reels out of 5.